Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 28th, 2020 for the Forex market. And uh, we'll start off by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And uh, of course, this is after the holidays. And uh, there, uh, I haven't made a video since. So this is basically all data that I'm relying on here. And um, it is going to be interesting what is basically what is going to happen on when Monday basically opens, because if you look at Bitcoin, for example, it has been absolutely crazy um, this weekend. And usually um, that means that the US dollar will weaken or start depreciating. It has been trading opposite of the US dollar for quite some time now. And um, if if that trend continues, then we should expect the dollar to uh, depreciate significantly when the uh, session opens. So if you look at um, a great British pound US dollar, where we are at this current point, we're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, they are fairly bullish at this point. So there has been a trade deal between the European Union and uh, uh, Great Britain. However, coronavirus is still a major problem across the world, especially in Europe and North America. So that is, is still has an effect. Um, but we'll see how the market reacts uh, to the news of the, the trade deal because all of it was not available before the market basically closed. And, and um, some people are happy, some people are not happy. Uh, the, most, the most common uh, conclusion to the trade deal is basically that nobody is satisfied with the trade deal. And that was fairly expected as well. Britain didn't get everything that they wanted and European Union did not get everything what they wanted. So they're basically in a worse, or you can say basically, both the Union and the Great, British, uh, Great Britain are basically worse off now than they were uh, when Britain was part of the European Union. So what that effect will have on the Great British Pound, that is to be seen. However, at the moment, as I said, most of these indicators are still bullish, but you can basically see signs of weakness. Uh, that, for example, RSI is fairly flat, does the uh, CSI is fairly flat, uh, while the stochastic and the MACD are still bullish. I, if I were to bet, we would we are basically trying to test the 20 exponential moving average again. So I am not willing to short this. I am willing to basically buy it the, the closer that we get to the 50 moving average. As you can see, the last three times we have touched the 50 moving average, we have rallied significantly. And we are basically an uptrend. We have been an uptrend for a very long time now. And um, yes, that seems like that is just going to continue for the foreseeable future. For, sure, for your foreseeable future. So. The closer that we get to the 50 moving average, the more willing I am to buy this. So I have no interest in basically selling this at this point. The target at this point are these previous highs here at the 13.63. So if you look at the US dollar uh, and the yen, so we have been rallying now for six consecutive, consecutive sessions and um, these technical indicators are still fairly bullish. MACD has crossed the signal line. The, Stochastic is still bullish, and uh, while the RSI and the CCI are fairly bearish, we are still on the edge of being oversold. So, a rally at, or breakdowns to the downside are uh, well, they are if they happen, then they are not significant. I think that we are just going to continue up towards the 50 moving average, and when we get there, we'll see um, sellers come in and try to pressure this down. As you can see, we have been in a channel for quite some time and it's basically a negative channel. We have been trading, um, uh, we've been trading, uh, or this has been trending uh, downwards for uh, the last few months, all the way back to March, I should say. So, and it has been fairly um, predictable. Every single time we got to the close, uh, to the upper channel, we have been able to sell every time we get to the close to the, uh, to the lower channel we have been able to buy at this point we're right in the middle however the 50 moving average has been 
they're just as resistant as, as the main resistant channel here. So the closer you get to the 50 minute week average, that is basically your selling opportunity. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. We are getting awfully close to the 20 exponential moving average. And I think that we are just gonna witness just more of the same. So every single time we have gotten close to the 50 or the 20 exponential, we have rallied significantly. These technical indicators are looking fairly um, bearish at this point. So MACD, the stochastic, they are all bad. They're both bearish. While the CCI and the RSI, they are fairly flat. The CCI, RSI is more uh, bullish than it's bearish. But I think that the 20 exponential moving average will hold. We will see most likely a rally from here. And I'm guessing that is going to come from the depreciation of the US dollar. That is fairly uh, anticipated uh, if you look at basically what is happening to Bitcoin at this point. So people are uh, betting on uh, Bitcoin to be a safe haven and uh, that they basically think that the market is going to continue to uh, decline or especially the dollar is going to continue to decline. So that will have a very bullish effect on this currency pair. So uh, this is definitely a buy if we see a rally from the, the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, very similar here, but this has uh, turned around. So we see that the stochastic is bullish. We see the RSI is basically flat, the CCI is flat, and the, the MACD is basically also flat at this point. Um, the 20 exponential has been a massive support for a very long time now. And uh, every single time we get close to the 20 exponential moving average, uh, we, uh, this market has basically, or this currency pair has rallied. So at this point, we need to take out this top here at 0 0.7638. Uh, and if you do that, we go to significantly higher levels. So no interest in basically shorting this. We are in an uptrend and this will most likely just continue. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we, um, we uh, rallied quite significantly uh, the other week and we went almost up to the 20, 50 moving average and then broke down quite significantly. This has basically only one direction and that is basically down. The target here is 1269. Uh, Technical indicators have already started to turn around. The stochastic you just see here is very bearish at this point. RSI is flat, the CCI is flat. We hit the top of the Bollinger Band and that is a sign that we are most likely just gonna go down. So at this point, the 20 exponential moving average is basically support at this point. If that breaks, then we are heading straight down to this level here. That's roughly a fall of 1.16%. Uh, MACD at this point is still bearish. We're still trading under zero. So if we have a, a crossing of the signal line here, and that is a very dire sign for this currency pair. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our uh, signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So good luck and thank you very much.